Now welcome to evening prayer for Monday the 27th of December. Today we remember John, the apostle and evangelist, because he's of course the writer of most, if not all, of the fourth gospel. And we remember him as somebody who went on to found a community in Ephesus and of course then there are those letters and the book of Revelation so God ministered very very deeply into John gave him a very long life and a life which did so much to help set up the ministry of the early church blessed are you Sovereign God, our light and our salvation, to you be glory and praise forever. To dispel the darkness of our night, you sent forth your Son, the firstborn of all creation, to be the Christ, the light of the world. Rejoicing in the mystery of the Word made flesh, we acclaim him Emmanuel, as all creation sings to you. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. Psalm 97 The Lord is King Let the earth rejoice Let the multitude of the isles be glad Clouds and darkness are round about him Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne Fire goes up before him And burns up his enemies on every side His lightnings lit up the world The earth saw it and trembled The mountains melted like wax At the presence of the Lord at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declared his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in mere idols. Bow down before him, all you gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his faithful and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joy for the true of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. If you're following the Old Testament readings, it's Isaiah 6, verses 1 to 8. And it's a really interesting and important reading. We have one, we have one John... The first letter of John, chapter 5, beginning at the first verse. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given him concerning his Son. And this, is, this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
reading reminds us though, whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. And there's many people in this society who have repudiated the Son of God. We pray that the Lord will have mercy upon them and upon us as a society that less and less wants to acknowledge Jesus Christ. When peaceful silence lay over all, and night was in the midst of her swift course, from your royal throne, O God, down from the heavens, let your um, almighty word. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. This time of the year we are asked to remember the homeless. Well, of course, we pray that every time of the year we remember the homeless and all the problems that have caused them to be there. We pray that the Lord will have compassion upon them. We know there's big efforts to help the homeless at this time of the year. We remember that people are homeless in January and February and March as well. And we pray that the Lord will grant his grace to know how to best care for the homeless right the way through the year and to reduce the incidence of homelessness in our society. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember those people who find it difficult to know how to care uh, for the big challenges in this society, people who struggle with being part of this culture for whatever reason. Bring before the Lord those people who are struggling with life right now. Bring before the Lord those who are potentially suicidal. Bring before the Lord those people who are thinking in terms of criminal acts or have hanging over them the reality of things that they've done that could get them into big trouble. Bring before the Lord those people who've suffered some sort of abuse this Christmas time. Lift before the Lord those people who are struggling with overeating, over drinking, with drug taking, with other things that would cause them hurt and harm. Lord Jesus Christ, you have the power to hold back the hand of those who would damage themselves or others. And we pray that you will use that power for the defence of the weak and the vulnerable. And we pray, Lord Jesus, for those people who are just struggle to control themselves and to manage their lives in a positive way. Lord, we recognise there's so much damage in us as human beings and we do so many crazy things. You understand. We pray that in your understanding, you'll help people find a way out of their challenges in life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We recognise at Christmas time, lots of people... Uh, talk about or wish for world peace, but it's nothing like that out in the world. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will bless the peacemakers, the negotiators, all those people that are trying to draw nations, languages, tribes and tongues back from the brink of war. We pray you a special blessing and safety upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all those people who are struggling with turmoil within at this time, we speak peace. For those people who have been caring for loved ones over the Christmas period, we speak rest. 
for those people who've been involved in traumatic incidents in their lives. Perhaps because a relative or loved one has been taken into hospital suddenly. Or because they themselves find themselves with a negative diagnosis or have had a negative health event. Grant them grace to look up to the God of love who came at Christmas to be our Saviour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Lord, cast your bright beams of light upon the Church, that being enlightened by the teaching of your blessed Apostle and Evangelist St John, we may so walk in the light of your truth, that we may at last attain to the light of everlasting life, through Jesus Christ, your incarnate Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so the Lord's blessing be upon you at this time. It can go a little bit flat after Christmas, or we can still be entertaining family and friends. Whatever place we're in personally, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So may the presence of Christ move through us and out to others that they also might know more of their Lord and Saviour. May God who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 